Hi, I'm Maimon. Welcome back to another one of my auto repair videos. Today we're going to be doing a tool review on these Zero Offset wrenches. Their official name are Ezark 6-piece extra long aviation wrenches. Uh, however, they're more well known for their Zero Offset. What does the Zero Offset mean? Well, let's let me pose an example. Let's say you're trying to take a bolt out and it's a very it's it's in a very hard to reach place. Let's say you take your regular uh, spanner or or ratchet wrench and you try to get it angled into wherever you need to get it. It, get, it, it fits onto the bolt, right? However, you realize that when you're trying to take the bolt out that it's at such a weird angle that you actually can't twist it. So the solution to this is to use a zero offset wrench. Now, if you don't quite get my example, in this video I'm going to demonstrate to you exactly what that example would look like on this car right here. Here we have Uncle An's uh, Hyundai Sonata two, uh, 2012 model, which I think is 2009 to 2014, sixth generation. But in this video, we're gonna actually test out these extra long zero offset uh, wrenches on a similar si situation to what I just said. All right, so let me demonstrate. The bullet in, in question that we're talking about on the Honda Sonata, or the Hyundai Sonata, I keep thinking Honda because we keep working on that. But what we're trying to reach here is this tensioner bolt that allows us to get access to the serpentine belt. Now, the bolt is hard to reach because if we try to use it to try to get to it with a normal spanner, you can see that a normal spanner has a sort of an angle to it. It has around of a 15 degree angle. Uh, and when we try to actually put it on, you can see that it can fit on but it actually won't be in a position where we can turn it easily. And it's also blocked by other things like this AC uh, pipeline. So the solution to this uh, is to use a zero offset wrench such as these wrenches right here. And to demonstrate it, this is the 16N. We're going to use the 17N. You can see that we can slide it into this gap here. It fits nicely kind of like a glove and we can actually put it on to the bolt with relative ease and now i can demonstrate actually releasing the tension on the bolt and you can see that it stays on fairly sturdily unlike with a regular wrench which you wouldn't even be able to turn the bolt because it wouldn't fit all right so talking more about the tool itself hey like I said, it comes from Ezark, which I don't recognize as a brand. We don't usually see something like Ezark. You usually see something like Cobalt or Pittsburgh. So this is new to us. But also, it's by a manufacturer named Hungzhou. I, I, I apologize if I mispronounce that. Easy Can Tools. So I'm guessing it, it's it's made in China. Um, I assume that if we look around, it will say it's made in China. Oh, yes. It actually says it's made in China under the barcode. And another thing is it's also known as aviation wrenches. Though they are famous for, like I said, being zero offsets. And if you're wondering, the name zero offset refers to, to that, the fact that the angle of the wrench is zero degrees. Whereas this one would be a 15 degree offset. So a few things, it also says on the actual packaging that it's drop forged, it's mirror polished, it's chrome vanadium steel, and that it comes in a range of 8 to 19 millimeters. And this is cool because on the actual wrench itself, you can see that it has both 17 and 16 millimeter. Uh, I, I didn't need to turn it around. But talking about other options for the tools that you can get, you can get this from anywhere, uh, and you can get them for you can get them for different prices. So often the greater brands, the more expensive ones like Genius, can cost you about a hundred dollars for a set of them, and some of the cheaper brands can run you about forty dollars. However, we got this brand because not only was it cheaper, it was around $50, but also the reviews said that the chrome didn't come off, unlike the other tools where somehow the chrome came off. So we ended up picking this one and also some other sets, they package it from eight to 19 millimeters, but they're redundant. They sometimes they put, they, they have one wrench and both sides are eight millimeters instead of eight, nine, 10, 11. And I asked my dad, why would they do this? Is one, is one of the sides open end? And he said, no, both of the sides are closed end, they're circles. 
and they're the same size. So what's the point of getting 10 wrenches when you can get five instead? Uh, by the way, you can get these from any place, uh, for example, Amazon, or you could get them from Advanced Auto Parts. You can actually get an individual wrench from, I think, Advanced Auto Parts, but you can, ha it, you can only get one wrench for around $30. So why wouldn't you just get the entire set? All right, so some people might be wondering uh, about the spanner, and if you, if you, if, well, actually, we'll, we'll try a demonstration with it. You can see that it actually does catch on the bolt. But the same problem applies with the original wrench, that the angle is just too steep for the, uh, for the wrench to actually turn. And furthermore, because this part isn't extruded out, it doesn't actually catch on the bolt. So that's why we use the zero offset, because you, you can see that it actually comes out a bit. And that will help with some things like the tensioner, where the bolt is set inside the tensioner a bit. So they actually, also mentioning this, they actually have Pittsburgh um, zero offset ratchet wrenches. But the thing is, those Pittsburgh wrenches, those ratchet wrenches, they're fixed. Whereas this one, is, it allows you to swivel. It allows you to have any angle. So why would you pay $170 for a fixed uh, wrench that only just gives you ratchet? Where it'd probably just be cheaper to just get this one and just keep having to use elbow grease to turn it around. So. In the end, I'd say that these, should I say the company, these Ezark uh, extra long aviation wrenches, also known as zero offset wrenches, are going to be pretty useful in the future. And it's going to be a nice addition to my dad's huge arsenal of tools, as you can see from this tool cart. But for now, I'm Maimon and that's the end of this review. Uh, we're actually going to be doing another video on actually uh, replacing Uncle An's alterna uh, alternator, which is why we're doing this video, uh, also to showcase these wrenches. So check that out, but for now, uh, I'll see you there. So thanks for watching, please like, comment, subscribe, and look at other videos on i and especially the auto repair videos, and especially the auto repair tool reviews. Okay, that's right. And I'll see you there, but for now, I'm Iman and signing out. Peace. Let me just organize these.